Hey y'all, this is A. Renee from Journal, Job, and Job. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome to the channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey there. All right, by the title, it's gonna be My Debt Confessions. I have to switch careers. Hear me out. All right, y'all, so I have been discussing on this channel, like, hey y'all, I'm going to have to give up the hair industry i love my clients but love does not pay the bills and i know some of y'all probably like well maybe she just can't do hair honey i'll insert some photos to prove that i'm pretty nice on hair color short hair press all of that but that's not the issue all right so we've been discussing going in writing things down looking at your debt filling things in y'all i've been using my planner I'm gonna talk about these receipts as well and this is gonna be kind of a talk through video y'all so hopefully stay with me put me in your ears because if you at work you know you can't really have me on volume at work because people are like who is that she's very animated or why is your computer so loud people trying to work okay I'm trying to go get a nine to five all right so I know a lot of people will say gosh I wish I could work for myself and it's cute okay it's cute when it's cute it's not when it's not so I am in a position where I have a rising senior in August of this year preparing for college and the hair industry is one of those industries where when it's good it's good when it's not it's not and it's just not and I don't even know that it's not I'm just in a different place where I'm not in hustle mode Okay, so what I did the other day, that was on the 7th. I said, okay, you need to finish closing out your 2022 so you can kind of see what you made. Y'all made a huge blunder. So one of the things that I realized is procrastination is very expensive. So I was closing out hair tickets. I don't know why I don't close them out when my clients leave. Like if they sell or pay cash, I don't go back in my system and close it out, right? So I had to go close it out. And by the time I finished closing it out, it looked like I made, I'm looking at some numbers to the side of me, $14,000, $14,050.62 in January. I wish, oh, I wish. If that was the truth, honey, mm -mm, but it wasn't, right? So then I was like, okay, so we need to go ahead and run a report for the entire year. And yes, I'm being transparent about what I made last year because it's okay. I, I, it, it's just, we on this journey, all right? So needless to, needless to say with hair, now I didn't calculate journal jot and jive, that's, that's a whole nother video in itself. Needless to say, all right y'all, I had it on my sticky note. Let me just give y'all something cause I know you like. Thank you, you show us something. So needless to say, I did $51,620.75 for the total part of the year. And some of y'all might be like. Uh, oh, I mean, well that's decent. I can, I can work with that. Why you can't work with that? Well, hold on. Bear with me, okay? Out of that $51,620.75, $18,200 went to rent the space that I rent. And I know some of y'all are like, I'm sorry, say that again? Mm-hmm. You heard, you heard clear, but let me go ahead and amplify that. $18,200 was allocated for rent, all right? So what many people may not know, depending on what state you're in, you can either do commission, you can rent your space, or you can own. I've owned my own salon, that's a whole nother ball game too. And now I am renting a suite, right? Depending on the side of town you're on, the rent will be different. And I used to work on the east side, outside of Atlanta, where it was, not as as expensive it was ten thousand dollars and five ten thousand five hundred dollars a year which is still a sizable amount when you look at it right so i am in atlanta which is a central location now let's call a spade a spade in 2020 when people were getting the extra six hundred dollar a week plus up and they forced hairstylists and barbers to be one of the first sets of people to have to return back to work it was good like 2020 was a good year 21 you know it's okay but 20 
22 is when the tide changed, all right? So I have had to have a come to Jesus meeting <laughs> and realize that as much as I love hair and I love my clients, I have to love my mental health and my financial health even more, all right? So that's where I am with that. So she needs a job. A career shift so I'm in a state where I have to do a career shift and we're gonna talk about that on this channel too now some of you all might be like well, you know, how did you decide that you need a job you've been doing this for a while when you start writing stuff down on paper for real so to my people who have you might get paid very well but you are running away from the process write it down when you write it down you can see where your money goes so there's some additional things you saw on here so last year I applied for a grant, did not get the grant, but nonetheless, I had to become current on some city of Atlanta fees, which was $1,500. I'm rounding up, it may have been $1,600. I also had some additional fees. That should not say 24,000, that needs to say 2,400. But when you start talking about supplies, so now I am really looking at it. I have a digital app that shows me things and I can run reports, but sometimes I just shy away from looking at things and I can't afford to not look at things. All right. So we discussed that I've been using this planner. Let's change the view. Okay. That should be better. All right. So we started discussing what tools that I am using and that is of course my notebook. In addition to the notebook is this planner right here. I also have my on the go planner where I record my expenses and then I transfer them over. And y'all, we have something else. Because in, in addition to working on the career shift, remember I'm getting audited by the IRS. So I know I gained a lot of new followers right now. So I'm, I'm gonna need to, I think I'll, can I do the playlist? Question mark. I'm gonna link it right here. Start with my first debt confession video. And it's gonna make a whole lot of sense, all right? So a couple, a couple of eye openers. Number one was the IRS audit, okay? They're like, hey, we need you to prove X, Y, and Z. We need receipts. And when you're in the hair industry, you can get real trifling as far as saving receipts. So I said, we're going to go through your stash and pull out envelopes and stuff that you have. Now, my digital receipts, I can go pull those out and download those. So I would like to give a suggestion. And I don't really care if you're self-employed or a W-2. If you need to house your receipts, your digital receipts, consider making folders. I'm gonna start working on that. This week and next week, I'm going to put a category on my computer where if it's for journal, jot and jive, the receipts will go there, here by A. Renee, it'll go there. And once I get my W-2 job and I'm able to walk away from here completely, then I'll have a different category. Now that would be the digital receipts. However, Excuse me, when I pay cash for things or I get a receipt from somebody, I need to keep those and scan those in. So I'll find a app, I think it's called Dex, D-E-X-T, that I need to download on my tablet. And I'll actually scan the receipts in and itemize them and then they can connect to my Zero app that I had neglected, but we're not gonna neglect this year. So that is that. So I wanted to show y'all, so I have one for personal one for Hair by A. Renee, and one for Journal Jot and Jive. So if you have some envelopes, and I know some of y'all do like cash envelopes and small envelopes, but I ain't doing all of that. So I'm gonna do this and then keep it in a file section in my office. So the first part of January is all about looking at it. I have to look things head on because I am now looking to transition to a different space, a nine to five, right? So in my mind, I'm like, hey, I want to work from home. That is my ideal. But honey, if I got to go drive in and put put to somebody's location. Can we all put put on in? Now, what I would suggest that you do, like I showed y'all in another video, go in and do a financial brain dump and write all of the things down that you currently pay for. Right? Just write them all down. And then you want to kind of see how much am I spending out per month. I've not calculated all of this out, but we need to increase that. Speaking of, my salon loft's rent went up $17.50 per month. <laughs> Correct, not per month, I'm sorry, per week. So yeah, we really gotta go. Because by the time December of this year comes, I would have spent $20,000 in 
booth rent. We ain't doing that, all right? We, we just cannot. It is just not financial savvy for me, all right? So again, we'll go in and calculate everything and then you'll see what you need to make. So what I also did was I said, okay, well this is what I made with Salon here by A. Renee. Let's just consider I won't be paying $18,200 in salon rent once I completely walk away. So now when it's time for me to look for jobs, I will look for jobs within a range, right? So there's that. Okay, so what I've been doing lately, I've been using my planner, and I know everybody does planners different you budget I have not even gotten to the point that I can budget yet because I got to figure out what's all coming in like what do I have coming in what do I not have coming in so for example last week I have three clients one two three I know y'all like dang that's it yes that was it so time is slow inflation is real and people like girl I love you but uh, I ain't gonna have the book I ain't got it I get it you ain't got it I ain't got it so what I started doing was something that is real challenging. Hey, right now where you are. So if y'all see that, my red highlighter stands for debt. At the top of your week, right where you are, so you can see, do I need to make more money? Do I need to hone in on my finances? What do we need to do? Overdraft fees, I need to see what is affecting high expenses on food, things like that. So what I started doing was going in and I didn't, calculate that but my earnings from both categories and so what we're also seeing is for journal John job I've been pulling from hair to pay for some things so that means I'm pulling out a different like robbing Peter to pay Paul that ain't gonna work all right so pretty much in total transparency right now I'm going in the negative every single week that ain't even including what I owe on Friday which would be the salon rent so that's when I had to decide like, hey, you gotta make a change in your life. You either gonna keep struggling, and I don't like using that word, or keep having hard challenges, or you're gonna face the music, right? So I'll need to go in and calculate from last week everything that I earned. So what else you will notice with Hair by A. Renee, like my clients when they book, there will be a deposit they have to pay. So if they're not giving me Zelle or cash on that day, which I do not like cash in hand, but you know, some people you just, you ain't gonna win that over. They'll pay through the app. If they pay on the weekend, my app holds my money until that following Tuesday, right? So if I'm not getting that cash right then and there, and I have to wait, but I also still need to pay my booth rent, it puts me in a hole, right? So there's that. So what I'm doing now is writing things out so I can see a, a pattern each week. So I do have to go in and do this week's spread. All right, so every week, whatever main bills come out, they're gonna go over here. Whatever things that I paid for, they're gonna go here. And I know some of y'all like, well, you just said you don't have the money, but you paid for that cloth and paper. Uh, paying subscription. I irresponsible. Call it out, honey. It was an irresponsible choice, but it's paid for. After that, it will be cut off. All right. So, and I have a, a really crazy habit of when my back is against the wall. I'm like, well, I don't have a hold of my anyway, so I'm going to just go ahead and spin. Stupid, ignorant. It is a very horrible habit that I'm working on cutting out. I like to call myself out, and some of you all may be able to identify with it call a thing a thing and work on changing those habits so Klarna right here I think one or two of these are paid off this ain't even Klarna like no clothes y'all nope <laughs> it is not y'all remember when I was talking about I had to use Klarna to pay for food because baby it was rough around these streets you see that you 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 see that so yeah so Klarna is almost paid off and then I need to go and pull this from my other planner all right so every week the goal is to hold yourself accountable and look at it on paper yeah it's very uncomfortable like i am super uncomfortable right now in life and it's just is what it is so my goal now is to continue to track pay what i can 
make arrangements where I must and continue to look for jobs. And now I am working on a resume because I have to transition from working for myself from 17 years and making myself marketable, right? So there is that. All right, so in addition to that, I am going to keep, <laughs> excuse me, in addition to that, I am going to have a digital system as well, just, just to hold myself accountable. I need to write this stuff down a couple of times now, pretty much in a planner if it's like work or other things like that, no, but I did find a digital planner that I like. and. Hey y'all, real quick, I wanted to let you know this planner is by Live Love Planners on Etsy and it works with GoodNotes, Notability, and Zoto PDF. I am an Android user, so yes, it does work on mine. And I am not an affiliate of this uh, business, but I do like the planner, so I thought I would let you know. And it has categories that I didn't even think of that I don't necessarily want to keep a paper planner for I'm just gonna be honest for me like keeping a digital uh, a paper planner for all of these things that are in here will be a little overwhelming once I'm in a space a better space I think I can appreciate the full paper realm but right now I cannot all right so this one you have a section where you can set up a financial goal and so right now we know my financial goal is to find a new job that is my ultimate financial goal so that is what will go in this section. But what I also liked about this one, they give you a section for your debt accounts, right? So remember I have all of my debt accounts set up. Let's see, let's turn to it. So remember the other day I set up all of my debt accounts and I'll still go in and write this down, but I like this one from the standpoint you can go in and you can write your debt down, but when you click, it then gives you the date that you pay, your balance. So that was where I was like, okay, I didn't make enough space to write. Like I paid this, what's left over? So it gives you the date that you decide to go in. You're gonna put your balance, the total that you paid at that time in balance. But it also gives you a tracker like, what percent are you on? So I thought that was really, really nice. And you can put your interest, rate your goal to pay it off your minimum payments and then your starting balance so i just thought that was cool to see through that and so it gives you six trackers of course it does bank statements but i'm not gonna write all of that in there however it also gives you like a ledger if you want to use that some people are very ledger based where they want to write things down now this is more of a writing type thing the one where I'm tracking everything else is in my Zero app. I will talk more about this Zero app on a later video. I actually love that app because that app kind of breaks down everything like, hey, this is what you spent. I'm able to code things over there and I can run a report, an income, an income loss statement. And when it's time for taxes, all I got to do is send it over there. Speaking of that, we're going to go on a tangent. And I know this video is kind of long, so I hope y'all got a notebook to take notes and nuggets that you get. Being audited, I'm learning quite a bit, okay? When you get your taxes done, there's a likelihood that most of you all do not go back and check, i.e. me. You don't check what the person has done because nine times out of 10, the average person doesn't know what they're looking for. However, I've been on a quest to do better with my businesses, that's thus starting to use the Zero app and all of those things, check behind the person that does your taxes, okay? Check. That's all I'm gonna say is make sure you check, look at lines. If you don't know at this point, go on YouTube and look, what is supposed to go on this line? What is supposed to go on that? Because when you get audited, okay, it falls back on you. Another thing to do, if I don't say nothing else and you don't get nothing else from this video, ask them do they have Protection Plus or a protection company that they can apply to your taxes. So in the event that you are audited, the company works for you to help get it resolved. And in my case, Protection Plus was added, so they're working the case for me. All right, so there's that. But anyway, I'm gonna use this as well. So one of my 
biggest things for 2023 is to get a handle on my finances and better position myself so that I can take care of myself and my family to the best of my ability. All right, so your assignment <laughs> for today, especially those that are experiencing overwhelm or you're looking for a career shift, do you even know what you need to make? Right, so a lot of people say, "Well, I want another job," and then you go and you start looking for jobs. I'm gonna explain this in a second. You go and you start looking for jobs, but you're just going because you're ready to go, and you don't have a plan of action. Make sure you have a plan of action, and you're not just going out there willy nilly. So that is where the budget part comes in. Like, how much is my car note? How much is my insurance? If this company charges, or I have to pay for insurance. How much do I need to make so that I still have enough to bring home? All right, so like I said, this is super exciting because it's a different journey for me. And I'm gonna take y'all on the journey with me. I'm gonna show you like how I use my planners and notebooks to apply for jobs, the things that I'm using, which apps am I working with? Uh, what channels do I watch as well? Because again, this is very foreign to me. It's almost been over 20 years since I have been in somebody else's office setting, all right? So that's that. Okay, so again, let's look at this overview. It gives you an index, and it gives you a lot to work with. You get a monthly planner, a monthly budget, monthly spending, a reflection section, savings account, debt. It even breaks down like if you wanna do Christmas savings, and it can be overwhelming at first. However, there are certain pages that I would like to check on it even gives a vacation savings tracker so that's another thing so my sorority delta sigma theta sorority incorporated my college line it's our 20 year anniversary and so within the next two to three months i have to make a major decision can i go or do i have to bow out gracefully and so uh as of today if I had to make a choice, I can't afford to go, right? I can't afford to go because the amount of my trip is what I pay in booth rent. Uh-huh. The amount of my trip is what I pay in booth rent bars. All right, so I have to make some really sound decisions. I'm going to go ahead and claim I will be working in February, no later than March. But however, I do have to make a sound decision by really at the end of February, the 1st of March, I'll have to decide, can I afford to go on this trip or can I not? And then I have to move a different way. However, should I be in the space that I can go, I can track. So you'll go in and you'll say, hey, what's my savings tracker for my vacation? I would probably put 2,500, something of that sort on here and then go. You even have a birthday saving tracker, if you're looking to save a house, all of those things. So if you don't want to do a digital planner, you can create all of this in your paper planner as well. So like I said, I thought it was really cool. So what I'll do on another video is I'll show you how I fill things in so y'all can see how this is coming along as well. All right, y'all. So this is kind of a talk through video. It wasn't that I was going to show you like setting up a page per se. But I did want to introduce Save Your Receipts. And I shot my stash and used some stickers and just wrote on it. It's nothing fancy. If you have the cash envelopes and you're not doing cash in the envelopes, consider putting your receipts in there. Check in with your planner every single day or per week. So that is another thing I said every week on a Saturday or a Monday. And probably going to do a Monday I'm going to check in with my finances, okay? All right, y'all. That was your video, baby. That was a long chat through, honey. Feel long to me. <laughs> Here I go, throwing stuff around. All right. Question of the day. How are you on your financial journey? Tell me one thing that you learned from this talk through video and or... What is one thing that you started personally this year that you like so far? We are on the 10th day of January. It is not too late to start where you are. And y'all lean into the process. I ain't gonna say that it's gonna be the most comfortable, right? But lean into the process. You are worth what you decide that you need. 
and you just have to make necessary adjustments. If those adjustments are slowing down on stationary spinning. Oh my God, did she really just say that? Slow down on what? I just told y'all I got to cut that pen box off. Like that $64 could have been going to pay some. Could. But anyway, choose you first. Choose your mental health, your financial health, so that you can be in the space that you want to be. It's not that you can't get there. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of things, all right? All right, so I enjoyed this, y'all. I need to wipe that screen. All right, I'll catch y'all on the next one.